Yeah. Today, I am going to talk about the direct material cost estimation of associated with the product. Let's say if you want to create a, uh, a plate as shown in the uh, figure here. Uh, usually, the manufacturing process starts with cutting out a square section or a rectangular section from a larger metal sheet. Now, this metal sheet will be undergoing multiple process. One of the first process will be cutting out a circular section uh, required for producing this particular uh, plate. And that circular section will be further used to make uh, the plate through stamping process. Uh, so, there are two losses associated with that. The material loss will be classified into scrap and offal. Offal is a cost associated with the, uh, the geometry of the product. For in this case, we have a circular product and it is made from a square sheet of metal. So the remaining amount of material uh, will become unusable. So the amount or the cost associated with that is called offal. And during the manufacturing process, uh, there will be sc scrap all the time because of the manufacturing defect or the welding process or you know whatever process it is. That cost is called the scrap. So these are the two cost uh, comes on top of the actual material cost. So when we estimate the material cost, uh, we have to account for that. Let's take an example. In this case, we have to create a product, a circular product with a radius of 6.75 inches. Uh, usually the scrap and offal rates are given in terms of percentages which makes the calculation much easier. In this case, the scrap is given as 2.5 percentage and offal is given as 4.5 percentage. The raw material cost is $25 per square feet and the radius of the part is again 6.75 inches. Now since it is a uh, circular product, uh, the area is given as A is equal to pi r square you substitute the values of uh, radius in there, you'll get the final product area. Now remember, this is the final product area. When you account for the scrap and the offal percentages, your original area to start with will be higher than this. So to estimate that, you need to first account for the scrap, which is 2.5 percentage. So you need to multiply by 1 plus 2.5 divided by 100 which is 1.025 so that's a factor you have to multiply to get the area uh, that will account for the scrap and then further you, uh, you multiply that by 1.045 which is uh, equivalent to the awful percentage uh, that will give you 153.32 so this is the area that we are going to start with to make the product which has a final area of 143 and uh, you know according for 4.5 percentage and 2.5 percentage base stages. Now uh, so that is the total uh, material required and the pr product cost is given I mean per square feet cost is given so either you can convert that into per square inches or you can convert the area into feet square. So your units has to be consistent. So in this case what we did is we converted $25 per square foot into $25 per square inches. So you need to divide that by 12 square which is 144. So that will give around $0.1736 per inch square. If you multiply that quantity by the total area required and that is the actual material cost required to produce this product. So this is how you estimate the cost associated with the material for a particular product. Now depending upon the geometry this uh, percentages, wastage and everything will change. Now let's take a uh, look into another example. A manufacturing produ facility produces products from aluminum which cost $125.5 per square feet. The area of the final product is 130.2. The scrap percentage is 4.7 percentage. Offal is 6.6 percentage. Estimate the direct material cost per unit in dollars. Now, uh, in this case, it is uh, simpler compared to the previous uh, example. 
because the units are consistent both of them are given in square feet so you don't need to convert them in between feet and inch uh, so you can start with estimating the raw material required uh, by according for the scrap and the offal so 1 plus 4.7 which is the scrap percentage and offal is 6.6 .6. so this quantity multiplied by 130.2 will give the actual area of the material required in the beginning before we start the manufacturing now if you multiply that area with the uh, per area uh, cost then you will get the total cost associated with that particular product now remember this is 18,186.53 dollars per unit yeah, so this is how you estimate uh, the actual material cost now you will see similar examples in the uh, blackboard uh, for example a manufacturing facility produces products from aluminum which cost so and so the area of the final product is given as this much scrap percentage and offal percentage is given you have to estimate the direct material cost uh, per unit in dollars so you can start with the the final product area which is 652.9 so 6 52.9 then scrap is 3.5 percentage and offal is 3.9 percentage and the cost associated with that is 69.5 so this will give 48,734 which is the second choice and similarly you can work out for the rest of the questions which is 450.7 Scrap is 3.9, offal is 7.7, .7, cost is 132.2. So 66 point uh, this much. And here it is 499.4, scrap is 6.8 then this is 3.3 cost is so 67 point this one so that is how you finish the class assignment and let me know if you have any questions